I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm going to bring you along while I go grocery shopping, and then I'll show you a haul at the end. So today's grocery haul and grocery shopping is a little bit different than normal because I am joining the open collaboration that Carla McKenzie and the welder's wife are putting on here on YouTube. So once you're done watching my video, go into the description box below. I'll have a link to both McKenzie and Missy's channels and I will also have a link to the playlist. So there's going to be lots of other grocery hauls that are uploaded to the playlist. So if you like to watch grocery hauls, you like getting more ideas from different people, that's where you need to click after you're done with the video. Okay, y'all, so I just sat here in my PJs this morning and had my coffee and did my meal planning. So some essentials that I have for meal planning is my recipe binder, which is growing fatter and fatter because of Subby Supper. If you don't know what Subby Supper is, uh, you should totally subscribe to my channel because I do what's for dinners each week and y'all send me recipes and we are loving the recipes that you're sending. So. My binder is getting a lot fatter. I had Pinterest up on my computer. Oh, you can see me. I'm in my PJs. Hey, what's up? And then I have this little dry erase board where I write all of our, all of our meals out. And then of course, my grocery list. On last week's grocery haul, several of you asked to see my meal plan, so I thought I would show it to you. Today is Monday. It says, whatever. That means <laughs> mama's not cooking. So I'm going to a Scentsy party tonight, so the guys will be on their own. More than likely, they'll probably go out and get subs, at firehouse subs, that's what they usually do. And then you see these, this little arrow here, that just means that after I wrote it, I was like, oh no, I think this would be better on this night. And honestly, y'all, I write this out, but we switch stuff all the time. I don't know if y'all do that too, but uh, we're gonna have jerk chicken and homemade salsa. It's a different type of salsa. Um, honey garlic shrimp and rice. Thursday nights is usually our night to kind of take off because that's the day that I'm editing and uploading my what's for dinner for a Friday and Cole has youth group that night so um, he eats at youth group. We usually don't cook on Thursdays. Then on Friday we're going to have bacon wrap barbecue chicken on the grill. If you've been with me for a while you've seen me do it in the crock pot but since it's summertime we're going to do it on the grill and that does not stand for cilantro. That's cucumber, tomato, red onion salad. <laughs> And then we're doing subby supper and hamburgers and BLT pasta salad. So that is this week's meal plan. I've got my grocery list over here. This is just my list of stuff that I need to make this. I need to also go through and figure out just some staples that we need on hand. I'm gonna finish my coffee and go get ready and we're gonna go to the store. Okay, so several of you mentioned this and it was a great idea. And are you shocked? It's a Clemson bag. But this is a big cooler bag. I've got a couple of ice packs down in there. So I will put my cold stuff in here while I go to my second grocery store. I am doing Aldi again today and I know that there are some things that they don't have that I need to go get at another grocery store. And it's gonna be a scorcher today. So I'm prepared. Are y'all proud? I am at Aldi. You can't see it in there. No. <laughs> I'm at Aldi. I just pulled up. I'm going to go in and then I'm going to also go to Bilo today. But before I get started, I wanted to give y'all a little review of a couple of the products that I got at Aldi last week that were new to me. And just wanted to kind of let y'all know whether I think you should purchase it or not. The waffle fries that I picked up at Aldi last week were a big letdown. The there was only a few pieces that were actually the full waffle fry. The rest of it were just crumbled up pieces of potato. So I definitely will not repurchase that. The other thing that I purchased that was new to me were the orange push-up pops. And I was hoping they would taste like the Flintstones push-up pops. But y'all, I don't, it's been so long since I've had those push-ups, the Flintstone ones. I can't do an honest review, like a comparison between the two, but I will tell you we really enjoyed those. They're really creamy. I loved them. A lot of you commented as to why in the world I have to put a quarter in to get my buggy. <laughs> and basically, they try and save money at Aldi. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know if that's in focus, but basically you put a quarter in, you get your cart, and then you get your quarter back once you return it. They don't employ people to come out here and chase down carts in the um, parking lot. So this is just a way to kind of incentivize you to bring your cart back. One thing I forgot to get last week while I was here, but I really love, is their selection of trail mix. They have so many different types of trail mix. 
I don't think you can go wrong with any of them, but I'm gonna look through and figure out which one I wanna get. I just so happened to think about, there was another thing that I forgot to tell y'all about, that chive and onion cream cheese dip. I don't have the Philadelphia cream cheese dip to compare it to, but y'all, that was amazing. It was so good. We've still got some left, but if you are in Aldi, totally pick that up. Dip some wheat thins in that. Mm. I'm doing it this time. Several of y'all told me that these were really good, so these are coming home with me. Y'all, can you see the price on strawberries? That's unreal. Yeah, I'm getting some more of these to take home. I just keep remembering things that I was talking about in last week's video and remembering that I need to give y'all a review. These chips, the kettle cooked jalapeno chips, the guys don't like them. Cole said they're a little on the soggy side, they're not very crisp, so I'm gonna wait and get those at the regular grocery store. But I am gonna find some new things to try while I'm here because I love this aisle. So I've never bought their paper towels and it says compare to Bounty. I'm tempted because, well, it's not that great of a deal. It's $5.59 for a six pack, which it says is like 11 regular rolls. I don't know, should I just do it? Or should I just go get the name brand at the store, at the other store I'm going to? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna test them out. If nothing else, just for research for y'all, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be getting some Greek yogurt for snacks, and I'm looking at all their choices for granola, and I've gotta narrow it down. So y'all let me know if you've tried any of their granola. This one sounds interesting. Peanut butter clusters. I don't know, cinnamon. I'm gonna make my choice, and I'll show y'all in my haul, because I really don't know. So several of y'all told me you don't have Aldi near you and I really did think it was nationwide, but check this out. Interesting. Maybe the rest of y'all will get one soon. But I didn't see this last week when I was here. It's the Olive Garden Italian dressing. Theirs is $2.99. Is that better than in the regular grocery store? I don't know, you'll have to tell me below. Cole and I went to see Toy Story 4 this weekend. If you've been, without putting any spoilers in the comments, Tell me what you thought below. Another thing I forgot to review for y'all. This is amazing. This stuff right here, this grass-fed ground beef, so incredibly good. We used it in our burgers. I don't know that I'm gonna go back to using anything else. I really, really love this. I had one comment where someone said they had heard that grass-fed ground beef stinks. It has an odor to it. This did not. It smelled like regular ground beef. So if you haven't ever tried this, give it a shot. We also really loved the chicken breasts that I got and they're on sale this week for $1.69 a pound. That's really good. Okay, I need shrimp. And I was gonna try and grab that shrimp. Even though I don't feel like it's the best price, I'm, I'm guessing I can get more of like a buy one, get one free type deal at Bilo. I need to check their sale real quick. But I can't open this thing, look. There's no handle. I mean, I can grab this one and I guess reach around and get in there. I've been yanking on this thing, trying to open it, looking like a fool, and it's not opening. Okay, got my groceries bagged. My total was $56.40. Let's go load this into the car and go to Bilo. Okay, couple of things. First of all, there were several things that I thought Aldi would have and they didn't. So I'm gonna go through my list and just circle everything that I need to get over at Bilo. And secondly, I love it when I don't have to walk my cart all the way back up there. Um, there was a lady coming right behind me as I was loading my groceries. She was like, I need a buggy. So I just handed her my buggy, she gave me a quarter, and I was done. All right, now to Bilo. They definitely have a much bigger selection of shrimp, so I'm gonna see which one is the best deal and stock up because we are gonna be having shrimp with a couple of different meals within the next week or so. Okay, I was worried about how much these were gonna be, but they're on sale at least, so they're $2.50. I think they're like $1.90 something at Walmart for the Walmart brand, so this is not too bad, and the boys love this. This is not on the list, nor is it the best deal ever, but this is going home with me. I was looking for the Fiber One birthday cake bars. They don't have them here at Bilo. 
These are on clearance, so I'm guessing they're no longer going to be making them. They sound really good. They're crunchy lemon cookie bites. There's five of them in there. I think I'll try these. Also, just walking through and just seeing the kind of selection and the prices on some of these things, y'all, I think I'm going to start making Walmart my second trip instead of Bilo. Okay, so my total inside of Bilo is $57.62 which is not great, but I did get a lot of shrimp and shrimp is not cheap. It wasn't on sale, buy one, get one this week. Um, I just didn't like the look of the shrimp and the amount of shrimp that you got in the bag at Aldi, so I decided to go ahead and get it here. So like I mentioned, my Aldi haul was about $56 or so, so I'm gonna show you what I got. I grabbed these paper towels. I'm really hoping the quality, quality of these is good. I will let y'all know for sure. Grab some Parmesan cheese. These chicken breasts, they were $1.69 a pound, which is a really great deal. I mentioned this in the store. This is my our new favorite type of ground beef, so I got two pounds of it. Grab some more bacon. We're trying out these blueberry muffins. I'm really excited to give them a try. I will let y'all know how they are. Some long grain white rice. Cole's favorite type of applesauce, which is the cinnamon. We usually only go through about a half a gallon of milk, so I grabbed another one of those and got some vanilla Greek yogurt. It's the non-fat. We needed a can of black beans for a recipe. I'm hoping these are going to taste like the, what are those, the Frito, you, you know what I'm talking about, the Fritos. That's what they are. <laughs> I don't know why that couldn't come to my mind. I'm hoping that's what these taste like. And I'm hoping these taste like Pringles. We're gonna see. I got some more garlic. We've been using a lot of fresh garlic lately, so I grabbed this three pack. A cucumber. I wasn't sure if our other cucumbers out in our garden were gonna be ready yet in time for what I needed it for, so I grabbed one of these. These strawberries were only 99 cents, which is a great deal. Could not leave those behind. We needed some more of the cherry tomatoes. Some cilantro. Green onion some romaine lettuce. I settled on this type of granola. I'm hoping it's good. I will let y'all know. And again, y'all come through on the comments for me and let me know what the best granola from there is. Steven loves these uh, sunflower kernels. They're already out of the shell and they're unsalted. That's his favorite. And I picked out this Tranquility Trail Mix. It's got almonds, dried cranberries, chocolate chunks, raisins, and walnuts in it. That's everything from Aldi. Now let me show you what I got from Bilo. At Bilo, I spent about $57 and a good portion of that was shrimp. So let's get started. I'll show you everything I got. I got two big bags of shrimp, one pound each. These that I showed you in store, I'm hoping these taste good. I'm guessing though that they are being clearanced out because they're no longer making them, but I got them since they were on sale. I grabbed a lemon and a lime. They had these at Aldi, but they had big packs of them and I didn't need a big pack. Some Caesar dressing. This was buy one, get one free. So it was actually cheaper than the store brand. Y'all know the story on this. And this was kind of the deciding factor as to why I think I'm gonna start going back to Walmart. This little bag was $8.29 because it wasn't on sale at Walmart. It's normally $6.18. That's just a crazy difference. So that was kind of my deciding factor. I needed some pineapple tidbits, so I grabbed that. I also needed yellow grits, some Caribbean jerk seasoning. Could not find that at Aldi, so, and it took me forever to find it at Bilo. We needed some croutons. I was hoping that Aldi would have croutons, but all they had was some type of like slivers. I don't even understand what it was, so I had to get that at Bilo as well. We were out of wax paper, grabbed that. I got the good chips that the guys like. I also waited and got my hamburger buns at Bilo just because the buns at um, Aldi were really tiny and if you've watched my What's For Dinner, you know that we like huge burgers, so I needed bigger buns for those. Last thing I grabbed was this limited edition Dark Berry Dr. Pepper. Okay, if you've stuck around to the end, then you get the privilege of seeing what I think about these blueberry muffins. Steven was going to do a taste test and I said, oh, let me film you. He said, no, you do the taste test. So if you want to see Steven do taste test on these, leave a comment below and let me know. But I'm gonna try this out. It smells really good, it's super soft, and the M word, it's here on the screen. I hate that word, but it's a good description. That's really good. I like the crumbles or whatever this is on top. 
really good. It's got really big blueberries in there, which I love. Cole won't like. It's funny about the texture of that. That's okay, that means more for me, right? Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along to the grocery stores with me and then seeing the haul. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know that y'all like this type of format and I'll just keep doing it. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And don't forget to go check out the playlist below to see all of the other grocery hauls that are in it. Thanks y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye.